Reds hosting the Rays, and the Rays are minus 225 on the money line. The Reds are plus 185. The over-under I have at 9.5 runs. The Rays laying a run and a half are minus 115 on the run line, and them laying two and a half runs are plus 105, while the Reds getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 105, and them getting two and a half runs are minus 125. Now, before you bet on this game, understand that it's gonna these lines are going to change the closer we get to first pitch. So, Rasmussen did pitch once against the Reds last year. Four innings, no runs, no earned. They lost that game 5-4 to four in 10 innings, and that was in Cincy. Sout did not pitch against the Rays last year. Head-to-head, -head, the home team is 7-3. and three. The Reds are 6-4 and four against the Rays in their last 10. The favorite is 5-5 five and five on the money line. The underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is 7-3. and three. There have been four one-run games in their last 10 meetings. The over is 6-4. and four. And the over nine and a half is six and four. The Rays broke the home team winning streak yesterday when they crushed the Reds 10 to nothing. The game before that, the Reds beat the Rays 8 to 1. The game before that, they beat them 10 5. The game before that, they beat them 5 4. The game before that, they beat them 2 to 1. So all the games that I just read off were between last year and this year. Now, in their last handful of games overall, we're going to do four. The Rays are 2 and 2. There's been a combined seven runs, nine runs, nine runs, and 10 runs. The Rays have scored 2, 8, 1, and 10 in their last four games. For the Reds, they are also 2-2 two two in their last four. There was a total of 13, 17, 9, and 10. They scored 13 runs, 3 runs, uh, 8 runs, and 0 runs. I'm going to take the Rays with the money line. I, I'm going to take the Rays laying the runs, and I'm going to go over in this game. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.